can program your own damn loops. I've been playing with something for the last month. It's an interesting thing. It's very, very interesting. And well, as you can see, it's already here in the screen. And I'm talking about software called Sonic Pi. It's basically in a coding programming language environment where you can do whatever you want with sound. I was a bit lost at the beginning because I don't know I'm, I don't know how to code. And I'm gonna explain the way that I use it and why I find it worth it to make a video and to explain. Let's say 120 BPMs and always live loop because live loop because you can play it live thing you can play live sets with it you can program it what you're hearing it's great i mean i i find it really really amazing <laughs> to be honest samples we have like the own samples inside but you can use your own samples and this is like a kick i will uh add in the description box a uh, book uh, written by, it's a PDF book, written by the creator of Sonic Pi, Sam Aaron, which helped me to understand how everything works. And I'm I'm just learning how to code and how to program, which is uh, somehow interesting to, you can program your own damn loops. So this thing... <laughs> really good for generative music 303 synthesizer here so let's see how it works <laughs> You can change the cutoff, the resonance, the whole life. But of course, the downside of it, it's uh, actually that it requires a computer all the time. So you, you need to be in front of the computer. I want to be out of the computer. I want to enjoy the DAO-less thing. How I use Sonic Pi, it's a Raspberry Pi, running Sonic Pi. So why it's like this? I mean, it has like the on off button and a super nice keyboard. Audio out, it's a mono audio out. And it's basically a USB card. Then I just uh, solder it, the audio out. I'm using it a lot with generative and random music. So I will look for something. I will program it in the computer. I will then put it and it is just playing play and then you can change it live some attributes or parts of the thing that you are doing live you know because these will be a module of my DIY modular attempt Ta -da! this is what it's becoming now and this will go right here then on Thursday I'm gonna do like a small jam now with it and with my DIY stuff, synthesizers and samplers, whatever, using the Raspberry Pi with the Sonic Pi and something that I just coded. It's more like an ambient experimental thing. Of course, it's just a texture, an audio texture, dark ambient, you know, calling at night. Ooh. Again, really, thanks for watching, 
for being here. Good night. Oh, that was... Actually, I prefer this light. It was better than the other one. Okay, too late. Fuck.